how to lose a baddie. Let's get to this baddie chick right here. All right, uh, let's go to her real quick. Let me see what we got. Okay, I'm skipping a lot here. All right, here we go right here. Main event, what you've all waited for. The main event. We got a baddie right here, and she goes by the name of Christina Mackey. There she is right there. Hallelujah. 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 Not a lot of women can rock the pixie cut, and she's doing it. She's went viral for the last couple of months, and the reason why is she found love. She found love. All right, she found love, but she found it in the form of hip-hop star Rick Ross. All right, shout out to Rick Ross, the boss. Now, this is a good-looking woman. She's probably well over 30. But she's still trying to hold on to a dream that she can turn a thug or a bad guy or any of that into an honest relationship. And now she's kind of feeling used and abused. So let me go ahead and play this clip for you just so you can see who the person is. And we'll we'll find out why being attractive is not enough. Being a woman is not enough to bring to the table. I am the table. We're going to find out that even a good-looking woman with a decent personality, she doesn't seem like an asshole, can not be enough even for a so-called high-earning guy. And then when she tried to show her value, be more than the table, she fucked it up. She fucked up the entire relationship. (laughs) All right, so here we go right here. Not 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 to shit on her and her relationship. Let me see if I can pull up this right here. Okay, so here we go. This is her during the relationship. All right, you can barely see her little head right here. So as the relationship's going, with, oh, let me show you this first. Let me show you this. Hold up for a second because I got to show you. This is this is vital. All right, I got to find the. This is vital for you to find out. Ah, I can't find it. Let me see here. All right, so if you weren't paying attention, this woman that came uh, together with uh, Rick Ross and it was all gravy so she was uh, being taken around the world going on trips being showcased on the internet that's Rick Ross and with his plane with this baddie grabbing them cheeks she definitely got ample cheeks in there okay so she's being paraded around and it was all gravy and Gucci there Rick Ross right there they're sharing a biscuit she went crazy on Instagram all right so the other woman is her Rick, Rick Rocks' ex. We'll get to her in a minute. But what she started doing was doing going crazy on social media. She found love. And um, let me go ahead and play this. She started to incorporate Rick Ross. Oh, fucking. I hate TikTok. Incorporating Rick Ross into her social media. So she sells waist trainers or some weight loss programs. Um, this is her doing horribly on the row. But she started to use and leverage Rick Ross. Okay, and and I guess that's a good business business strategy. Let me see if I can find a couple of more pictures here of her doing so. And not only that, she went on the internet to defend herself. I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna make a difference in his life. I'm gonna be different than the the other girlfriends. So yeah, she came in with the hope strategy. So this is her. Let's listen to her. Please keep calling me a pick me. I'm asking you to refer to me as a pick me. I prefer it. Oh. All you're doing is manifesting that up with me. I want to get picked over and over and over and over and over and over. I'm asking you to refer to me as a pick me. I prefer it. All you're doing is manifesting that up with me. I want to get picked over and 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 over again by the same man a million times. Oh no. I want to marry that man. I want to have that man's children. Oh, oh, see, she got happy. She got happy, and a lot of people started to root against her and basically warn her. There she is on the boat. So there's Ross. There's I think he has a Lamborghini boat. So I want to get picked over and over. She started showing her jewelry. All right, look at me. I got watches. I got the plane. I got access to the boat. I want to get picked over and over again. I want him to marry me and have my kids. Mm. See, she thought she had him secured. And she went in, and she brought her baddie looks, her, her looks, and she thought that was going to make the difference. Mm. And she was started to leverage him, which she's going to say later on after the breakup that that's what she was looking for. But here we go. That man, I want to have that man's children. 
and I want to live a happy life because he keeps picking me and I keep picking him. No, no. I'm going to pick me for sure. Oh, my. I'm not a whatever the opposite of that would be. A not pick me. All right. So people were calling women were calling her a pick me, pick Misha. And um, so she started playing the wifey role. Right. So this is what happened here. But let's continue. Whoever raised their hand and said, hey, don't pick me. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. All right. We ain't listening to this. ninja. OK, we got more. I'm a lover. I am here to be loved. I am here to give love. I'm a pick me. No, no. Pick me. All right. She all in the video, all on the record. Damn, Suge Knight, man. Where you at, Suge Knight? Suge Knight. Get this woman. So you see how she's using and leveraging social media. She's, um, you know, using the uh, old, the old um, body language test where Rick Ross kissing on her, leaning in, and she's got to record it. I, I find these women not, I, this is too much for me. This is too much for me. Pick me. Pick me. For sure. 100%. You're not going to my feelings. All you're doing is manifesting it with me. Let's do it together. Pick Christina Mackey. Pick Christina Mackey. Because I'm picking him too. All right. Oh, shit. I wish all right. I knew. All right. Fair use. Oh, my goodness. I didn't mean all that. All right. But so she thought she had it locked. I got the high value man, high earning income man. I got the man with status. Rick Ross is at the pinnacle of his income. You can tell that the last couple of years he's been cashing in. Maybe he sold his catalog. I don't know what's been going on. He's been spending a lot of money. He's bought a Vander Holyfield's former house. He's bought cattle. He's been buying a lot of cars. He's been watches. The ninja been going crazy. He bought an airplane. So she went out there and then she went on the internet and she pissed all these women out. But the women start saying, baby, you ain't got Rick Ross secured. He goes through women. And she said, not me. She said, I'm the table. I'm different. I'm different than these other hoes. <laughs> yes, indeed. She's like, uh-uh. You don't realize who you talking to, maybe. She says, I'm Christina Mackey. <laughs> I got the man. I'm going on vacations, trips, all of that. And I'm dropping my neck. Rick Ross even gave her some teeth. You see them big ass teeth in her mouth? That was his parting gift to her. He fixed her teeth, and then he broke up with her. But we're going to talk about right here. Look, listen. Be Put your clothes on. Stop the hoodie all day, every day. But that was not the position I wanted to be in. I never see myself wearing a hoodie at the top. Put your clothes on. Stop saving your good shit. Put your clothes on. Get flat. All right, so she all on his property, all up in the video, recording the videos on his property. Yeah. Yeah. So she ended up losing. And what happened was Rick Ross's previous ex, which is this woman, and her name is Pretty V. She came in there and was like, bitch, you going to get replaced. You just a piece of ass. Don't you ain't staying a long time. You're going to get kicked to the curb like me. And there's a track record of women that Rick Ross have done this to. But of course, I'm different. So this is the this is the previous girl who was going in on the new girl, the pick me. New video is up. Um, I'm so excited about this video. Good. The real and the raw conversation. So I want y'all to know that I love y'all so much. Now, she definitely looks like more of a straggle. All right. But um, the other girl looks a little bit more refined. All right. Than the, the previous girl. Now, let me show you this. The breakup allegedly occurred. And this is allegedly her right here. Right there in the gym where she looks kind of annoyed. And why does she look annoyed? She got some definitely some bug eyes. She looks like Josephine Baker-ish. So you can see her at the bottom of the screen here on an Instagram live before it was broken that they broke up. All right. So nobody knew that they broke up yet. But here she is cornered here down where my face is. She's making an Instagram live video. She's a fitness influencer. But a song comes up in the background that is Rick Ross's song that is being played in the gym. And she ends the live abruptly and she shows a little bit of discomfort. So it seems like she thought she had a spot and she saw that she got bumped. Let's go ahead and play the video. What's my favorite cheat meal? All right, there it is right there. So that doesn't look like a woman that is, oh, go back. What's going on? That doesn't look like a woman that is secure 
in the breakup that that was using Rick Ross temporarily. That definitely looks like a woman with a broken heart right there. That looked like a woman with a broken heart. So that looks like damn. So what she's discouraged about is a, a Rick Ross song just happened to come on during her live. And there she is turning the camera off. <laughs> okay. Mm. Reminiscing reminiscing on all the spot that she had, but she's back in her dingy apartment. She's back in her dingy apartment. Like she's not out. Let me go ahead and show you. She not out here all in the video, all on the record. All right. She not out here on the boat. No more. She ain't up here jumping around. All you're doing. All right. She ain't living this life no more. Right. She thought this was going to be forever. I'm going to marry him. I'm going on. Look, I got the watch, the car, the clothes, the shoes. I got all of this shit. I got the boat. I got new teeth. Mm. Yeah. But you've been used and probably discarded. Now, what happened was, I guess she was on her Instagram and people had noticed that he took another woman to an NBA basketball game. Let me see if I can pull it. And I guess it was a white woman that he took to an NBA basketball game. Let me see here. And this is all celebrity gossip shit. There's a point to what I'm talking about. (laughs) There's a point. I'm not just here for gossip. I'm here to kill her the point. So here it is right here. Apparently, her spot got bumped, and he's got a new piece of ass. He got a new I am the table. He got a new woman with her feet out as she got her new teeth a week prior. And there he is. He's got a long-haired chick. He got everything opposite. She's still light-skinned. But Rick Ross got access. He got, a, he got a fat belly, but he got access. He can get women at a cheap rate. He can trick. And if you guys are really mad about tricking, Rick Ross would be a guy that would you would consider a trick because he buying women's gifts. He taking them out on trips and boats. He, he covering all expenses and pretty sure giving her an allowance. Pretty sure giving her an allowance. So guys at this level, although he's just having fun with, Women that were are highly attractive. He's having fun. And these women are getting paid for it and they're getting the experiences and then they come back to you and you catch them on Bumble and you think you done done something. Mm. All right. So he had her out front row with the referees tripping, tripping on his feet, stepping on his J's and she out of a job. Well, what caused it? The reality is I think there's one event that caused it. Let me go ahead and let Christina Mackey say, Ninja, get out of my business. All right, she says, I ain't hurt. This is her right here. Let me see if she all in the video. We'll play this video. Shout out to Mag TV. There she is right there. You can see her in the video. I'm going to tell you one event that caused her to lose this shit. Oh. All right, so there she is right there, all up in the video. Got him all up in the video. They all, okay, she like, I made it. I got my spot. Mm. Yeah, I got my spot. And uh, your spot ain't secure. You're a pay for play. And she should have known what was up, right? I hope she did. Oh, okay. This is her talking right here. Here we go. You never hear me talk about it. So don't ask me no questions. If it ain't about the gym or about Mackie Body. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't ask. All right, so the allowance has been cut off. The access has been cut off. You've been replaced. She signed the non-disclosure agreement. She can't do anything. He's got a new model. And, of course, hey, listen, man, that's how the game's played at this level. But you thought you had the secure spot, and you didn't. So now it's time to, yeah, somebody said, I can see the pain in her eyes. This definitely is hurting pain. And I'm not shitting on her. But for people who think she's cool with this, she ain't cool. She hurt. There's a lot of hurt in that, them words. There's a lot of tears that she holding back. <laughs> it's Victoria Beckham with melanin. Yeah, slight melanin, right? But so now it's time to advertise. I don't care. It's time to advertise my brand, all right? Put my brand up. She working in 24-hour for <laughs> fitness, all right? My brand, okay? CEO, nigga, bro. My brand thriving and just, that feels so good. Stop talking. I'm never talking again. <laughs> Unless it's about Mackie Buddy. No, I'm not. I'm 
in a private whatever I want to be in. Is that a All right, so it's not 24 hour fitness, it's a private gym. Horse hair weave rug on your head. <laughs> what? No, I'm not. I'm in a private whatever I want to be in. Is that a horse hair weave rug on your head? <laughs> oh no, man. They doing their dirty. Don't read the comments. Don't read the comments, man. Oh, man, she in trouble, man. Oh, po hold on for a second. Poor little Tink Tink. Oh, my goodness. This one, well, man, she collapsing, man. They doing her dirty. <laughs> no tears about to come in the house. Uh, they doing her dirty. Again, I am the table. Not so much. <laughs> All right, not so much. You're not the table, man. You're not the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh no man boy she angry when do men's clothes drop on mackie potty dot oh, my skin is glowing this is the first time i woke up yeah man i man, bruh hey last time i saw you last time i saw her she was in a private gym let me find out the rick let me show you the rick ross she was in a private gym now she back at that okay is this the same gym she was in a private gym over here all right, with a personal trainer. Ain't no all these bodies. Ain't that loud ass shit in the background. Now she over there. Now she over there in that big ass gym. Look at this form on the rower. Oh, atrocious. Atro well, she's short, I guess, but that's atrocious form. Rick Ross is, oh man. Okay, she was trying to get the ninja in shape. Okay. All right, now let's pull this up right here. Just so you can see the most pivotal event that women will have to realize, unfortunately, this is where guys with status, money, a status, leverage. Let me see if I can pull it up. You have to understand that when you have leverage, you can replace. Women have to be more than the table. They have to be more than the table. They can't just bring beauty. And this is what ha happened next. <laughs> okay. It's a lot of youngsters shining. Here we go right here. I just mentioned the baby, little baby. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of youngsters in Miami. All right, so this is Rick Ross. I know people are like, he's not a high-value man. He's a rapper. We're not talking about that. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. Baby. Check this out. Super Bowl Sunday. This is where she lost. Look at that Hamburger shit right there. Ready? Hamburger helper. Oh, no. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Try it, baby. Oh my goodness! Oh, the humanity! Look at that! Oh, okay. All right, got the Bel Air, the Belvedere. Okay. okay, got the Bel Air. Oh no! Oh, the humanity! Look at his face. <laughs> First of all, it's very hot. You don't serve a man a hot dish like this. Come on, man! Yeah. This man who trained this bitch? Bomb diggy, bomb diggy, my ass! Hold up for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am the table. Well, listen, you with a higher established man. I, I'm going to save your life. You got an allowance. You got a lifestyle now. But, bitch, if you hand me a plate of this slop, this prison slop, and I'm a ninja that got a Lamborghini boat, I own my own airplane, and you hand me this slop, on Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> With this nasty ass hamburger helper. Look at this shit. You can't even. How you mess up hamburger helper. Yes. He fucked it up. Bomb? Yeah. Bomb it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait a minute. You handed him hamburger helper. And you showing off a tennis bracelet? Yeah, you got the cut. You got got you got got right there. Now I got the cut. That's where your ass got lost. You got cut. Now I got the cut. Bitch, I gave you a tennis bracelet. You gave me this nasty ass hamburger helper. You got cut. Now I got the cut. You need to be more than a table, yeah, bitch. All right, here are you goofy? What? Gotcha, bitch. You got to go, baby. You gots to go. I don't care how fine you are. And let me just tell you, after I hit it three times, you ain't that fine no more. That's just how it works. That's just how I work. Your attraction means very little to me. Now, it might mean something when I'm out on Instagram or I'm out at an event. But after I hit it three times, it don't mean that much. 
only a boss will do it this big. Hamburger helper, mm -hmm. cheddar, yeah. beef, yeah. biggest, Fine. Luke Belair. Oh, Super Bowl melody. big game Sunday like a boss. No, no. No, she the first person in the history to have a f hamburger helper. Oh, no, man, damn. Mm. So at one point, he said, look at my plate. Look at what my baby did to me. Look at what my baby did for yeah. me. Super Bowl big game Sunday like a boss. Now, again, according to the internet, he asked for this. <laughs> right? He asked for the hamburger helper. But, you know, that looks like slop. He might have wanted to feel like he was at home. But, yeah, it didn't turn out right. So he was big up in her. But then when she left and he tried to eat it, she was the first one to mess up Hamburger Helper. Oh, <laughs> no, she the first person in the history to have a f Hamburger Helper. Dang, we couldn't even get that away. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I made fresh cookies okay. and milk for fresh, milk, guys. Fresh cookies. I'm going to go take a mess. Let's see what he thinks. Oh, look at these cookies. <laughs> yeah, man. She was trying, baby. Baby, y'all going to need, you going to to need to be more than a baddie for me to showcase you on the internet. Look at these fucking cookies. These are handmade. I guarantee you these are pre-cut cookies. Those are not homemade cookies. Them cookies come in a bag, and you basically break off the dough and plop it on the oven. Handmade cookies. See what he thinks. Try it, baby. Oh, no. Yeah, Pillsbury. It's almond milk, ain't it? Absolutely not. Oat milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. Oat milk. Got it. That Super Bowl cookies? Oh, man. He's like, damn. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this nigga face. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah, look at that. I can't even dip. He can't even dip the cookie in the damn milk with that little ass cup. <laughs> Jesus. Chewy chips ahoy. <laughs> Didn't get back to the line of scratch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they crumbling? That's no, like baby, I need my cookie soft. No. We need us a Super Bowl halftime commercial. Yeah, we do. <laughs> These are Super Bowl. That's delicious. These yeah. are Super Bowl cookies? DM Mackie Body to get you a Mackie Body sweatsuit. Oh, man. They're going to go live this week. But if you want one early, if you want to put your, you know, save me one, DM in, DM and follow Mackie Body. They're super fly, super comfortable. See, so she using his, she's using his property, using his kitchen, using his lifestyle to promote. But what is she bringing of value other than her looks, right? She's, she's an attractive woman. And, but what else? She got nothing else. She's a one trick pony. One trick pony. And I think that shit got her bumped. She thought she had it locked. And then she barely made an effort with them nasty ass cookies. Crunchy cookies. I want my cookies to be soft right out the oven. Not out of a Chips Ahoy bag. All right. And then she coming in here with that nasty hamburger helper. Mm. See, at a certain level, guys, you think these hoes are winning? She won for a little bit, but eventually she lost. And, yes, she, she's in pain that she lost. She had no skills, no training, no nothing. She had nothing else. All she's doing is just showcasing herself. Guys, this is why dudes... This is why they be losing in the end. Bare minimum. They come in brown, gray, pink, white. Are y'all ready for the Mackie Body sweatsuit? Oh my gosh. More. Let me know. Brown, pink, White. Yeah, see, so she's using, she's trying to engage in usury, and that's why she got dumped. I mean, come on, you're using the guy, man. You're using the guy. Where's the teeth? Um, where's the teeth one here? Let's go ahead and pull up one more, then I'll get to the super chats. Let me see here. Pull them up. Let's get them teeth is up. Okay, this 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 content creator is covering it all. Fair use. She went to Columbia to get new teeth. All right, here we go. There it is right here. 
So here come the trick ninjas. Oh my god! I'm gonna turn that part off. Look at my teeth. All right, so there she is with new teeth. All right, this was a month ago, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> they look girly. They're all right. They're thin. They're they're not wide. One so yeah, I love them. All right, man, they got the music in the background, so I'm gonna have to turn that off. So that's Rick Ross giving her a parting gift. Guys, gentlemen, this is called a parting gift. <laughs> this is called a parting gift. So this was his way to say, hey, baby, don't ever say I didn't do anything for you. Trust me, I know this part of the game. So this is a way for him to clean up all the bullshit, not leave on the bad note, not have her irate, don't pump and dump her, don't bring bad juju, now, you cannot say I didn't do anything for you. Them teeth is going to be in your mouth is for the rest of your life. So every time she look in the mirror and you want to be salty about your experience, bitch, you got teeth is in your mouth that I got. This is called aftercare, right? We call it aftercare. So guys will call this tricking, but this is a parting gift. This is aftercare. You can't be mad. Because every day you wake up and look in the mirror, you got my teeth in your mouth. Now I got to cut you. Yep, it's called aftercare. So we promote aftercare over here. Yeah, it could cost you some money. So that's what it is. Severance package, aftercare. I pay you to leave. This is paying her to leave. All right, here you go, leave. And now there's an incentive where she has to say, all right, I can't tear shit up. But when you do it for free, she tears shit up on the way out. <laughs> just to check me <laughs> shout out to the aftercare crew okay somebody said Derek Jeter was also a, also an aftercare specialist really uh Mick Jagger was known as an aftercare specialist Mick Jagger was known to be very nice dealing with the woman so the women didn't blow up his spot all right he was like all right let me take care of you before you leave put some tifus in her mouth and said all right and said bye-bye gotcha bitch that's the boss. That's a boss move. He already knew she was gone. He was like, you gone. You sent me that hamburger helper shit. All right, here you go. I got my Tifus. You got your Tifus. All right, yep. <laughs> your Tifus. What is it back here? Okay, all right. Oh, they put her on the, okay, they put her on the board on Instagram. I don't know what that is. And then later on, the ninja scene with a new white girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there he is right there. Right there. He with a new white girl. You gone. Gonzo. <laughs> Where we at right here? Yep. Now I got to cut you. How you lose a baddie. Gentlemen, that's that's kind of where it's going for a lot of guys. So he's staying in the game. Uh, you know, he's getting what he wants out of it. And then when the woman overplays her hand and he gave her a chance, the hamburger helper didn't help her. All right, that got her booted. Gave her a chance. And then she blew it. All right, so she can't be mad. All she can do is just be mad, uh, mad at herself. <laughs> anyway, all right, then Ninja's going to be like, well, she won in the end. She got the lifestyle. Guys, she wanted more. She wanted more of that. She wanted to continue that. She's going to be probably bounced to somebody else, and she'll be fine. If you enjoyed this clip, check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday. And, of course, we're back for the evening live streams as well. Check out the times in the featured channels on this channel right here. And also the links are in the description box. I will see you there. New, 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 new world order.